This is my first time ever making a naked cake for Skin for Mouse. I wanted to do a naked wedding style cake and when picking the colors, I went with complementary colors. The cake is blue tinted green with white so I wanted something that complemented blue or green so I went with an orange rose and yeah this cake is beautiful. I had so much fun making it. Um, I'll insert at the end like the process and pictures so you guys can see how I made the pic made this cake. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's uh, a lot of fun. And then I'm going to show you guys some high-end plating on the other side of plating and kind of pairing flavors together. I also wanted to get the cake from a different angle. So we're just going to take the rose off the top <laughs> and put it on the side and cover the cake. I might have a piece later just to see what it looks like and to also get some pictures of that. So this is the cake up close being cut. It is a two layer cake. And man, that color is just beautiful. Wiggle it out. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, see that cake? Yeah, I know I had to come over and get some good lighting so you can see this cake. Look how beautiful this is. This is basically how I made the cake. Um, you can add blue folk food coloring to cake. You separate it into two pans, making sure to line up with parchment. Let them cool completely using a, you know, thing to ice it. And there you go. That is how I made the cake. It is not hard. I'm going to walk you through the process one more time. So you're going to use an egg substitute in place of the egg. You can use box cake mist so you can make it from scratch. You want to add food coloring to it. Make sure to line your pans with parchment so it doesn't stick. Make sure you use these offset spatulas. Scrape off all the excess icing. Again, this is not hard. It's just science and a process. Beautiful thing is delicious. So for this beautiful, beautiful plating, you always want to choose a style of plating. There's so many forms. This one we wanted to keep it more to the side, but I actually kind of follow the shaping of the plate on the edge. We also wanted to do some contrasting, so I did a lot of contrast colors on this passion fruit dragon fruit. So for the prepping, all I did was dice up some red or fuchsia that um, dragon fruit. I scooped um, some keto uh, brownies I made and I also just drizzled on some uh, the passion fruit which is freaking delicious. This taste combo is gold. Chocolate and passion fruit and then that subtle taste from the dragon fruit is just fucking delicious. It is unreal. All right. So we did, did lick the plate plain. It was so good. It was different. Passion fruit is gold. Now, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment.